Hello world, good morning. It's Thursday. <laughs> weekend is another day in the weekend is here. Huh? <laughs> How y'all doing? Another beautiful day. Yeah. Look, I just found this article today. And it says uh it was talking about the Amazon Luna. And it says, uh, could Amazon Luna be the next stadia? <laughs> See, you know, a couple months ago, almost a year ago. Phil Spencer made a comment when he said, uh, he says, uh, Sony and Nintendo is not our competitors. What he was talking about was Amazon and Google. Because Amazon, Amazon and Google, they are two powerful companies and they got a lot of money and all that, right? But when he said that statement, he was giving Sony and Nintendo a warning about changing their ways, okay? So Phil Spencer said, uh, Amazon, I mean, uh, he, he said, uh, Sony and Nintendo is not our competitors. And he was talking about Amazon and Google. But Microsoft did their homework. You know, Sega, gave, Sega gave Microsoft the keys to the kingdom, okay? Because, you know, Sega got out the arcade business. Sega is not in the console business anymore. So the only thing Sega can do now is make games. But but Sega gave uh, Microsoft the keys to the kingdom. And ever since Microsoft came through the door with the original Xbox and Halo, they haven't looked back since. But within that, within all that time, Microsoft built an infrastructure. Built a infrastructure. Meaning that they started off with the original Xbox with Halo 1 and 2. But then they created Xbox Live, created a 360 created Xbox One, did did start working on the backwards compatibility, you know what I'm saying? Xbox Live was getting bigger, then they created Game Pass, then they did the ZeniMax Bethesda deal, and then they then the ultimate dagger to me, when they when they brought the entire iOS fan base over to play uh to play uh to play Game Pass games. Okay? Because Game Pass is like Pac-Man, it's a monster, it's just eating up everything it it, it it uh it uh it gets so game pass so there's two ways to play games now it's either the android way or the ios way android ios android ios android ios game pass okay so game pass is a monster so microsoft and plus that cinematic bethesda deal got a lot of games under that under that got a lot of games under under that deal you know those uh uh Bethesda and Zenimax, man, they got some games on. The, they got some games, so all those games are going to Game Pass. So Google Stadia right now, they're struggling because they don't. They don't have their own console. They don't have their own games. Amazon is the same way. You know, they don't have their own console. They don't have their own games. So they're trying to create this streaming service like Stadia. But like I told people before, the entire the entire world runs on Windows. And the entire gaming industry runs through uh, runs through Microsoft. And like I told you guys before, do not be surprised when um, the Epic Store and Steam joins Game Pass, because Game Pass is like a monster, just like Pac-Man, just eating up everything, everything, everything in its in its path. Um, yesterday I did a video. I was talking about uh, there was, the, the video was about uh, Apple trying to create this uh, Switch switch like console and then in the video I said uh, that would be a waste of time the best route to go is the game pass route as soon as the games come out they go straight to game pass and then the, app, the iOS fans can play it play the games on their iPhones on the go they can play it on their tablets their laptops and their desktops and that's the best way to go versus like making a um, making a new making a new console it will be a waste right now game pass is the way to go <clears throat> but with um, Amazon and Google right now, <clears throat> they're walking on thin ice because they don't have a foundation like how Microsoft got a foundation. You know, Microsoft got Microsoft got some pillars, got a foundation with some pillars to support their to, to support their uh, their structure. Not only that, you got EA Play. That's EA Play. That's on Game Pass. Ubi Play, meaning Ubisoft. All the Ubisoft games you can play them on Game Pass, and plus you can you can run Stadia through uh you can play Stadia games on Game Pass. So 
Game Pass is just eating up everything. So, um, uh, app, um, Amazon and Google right now, they're walking on thin ice, man. Microsoft did their homework. Game Pass is nothing to be played with. <laughs> so we do we do Netflix, Game Pass, NBA Game Pass, NFL Game Pass, NHL Game Pass, and uh, uh, Major League Baseball uh, Game Pass. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So micro the, the name the name says it all. Uh, Game Pass. So Microsoft did their homework, man, and um, Google and Amazon are gonna have a hard time trying to compete. With Microsoft, especially in the in the video game market, especially with the with, with in the video game market, because Microsoft got these pillars and moves that they made, man, that are huge and they are um and it's starting to show. So um, Google right now, man, um, and Amazon, like they're walking on thin ice. But anyway, I found this article today. It says this. Uh, says here it says that could Amazon Luna be the next Stadia many fans understandably curious to know whether Amazon Luna gaming streaming service might be the same fate as Google Stadia platform it says your video games might be a relative new medium when compared to films or comics but this isn't but this hasn't stopped the industry from finding new and exciting ways to interact with games streaming videos games has been a distant dream for a long time which is turning into a reality with techno technological advancement in the infrastructure. Many tech giants are constantly trying to trying their hands in the new realm, but nothing has quite caught on just yet. The, the biggest disappointment for our players is Google Stadia, a promising concept that never really took off as expected. However, Amazon also has a familiar offering in the cloud gaming space known as Luna with not much buzz currently surrounding the service many fans are curious to know whether Amazon Luna would offer the same fate as Google <laughs> as Google Stadia and then it says here uh, there are some major difference between the Stadia service and Amazon Luna with Stadia Google sought to create an entire new platform to play games and thus require players to purchase their titles from Stadia on digital storefront However, Amazon is pursuing a Netflix model where players are provided access to a catalog, catalog of titles to choose from at the cost of monthly subscription. This instant makes Luna more progressive and thus more appealing to, <laughs> to, get to casual gamers which arguably, arguably the target audience for streaming games. The entry fee for Amazon Luna based subscription is rel relatively as low as $5.99 which is de def definitely more inviting than Stadia Pro subscription of $9.99 per month. However, a Luna subscription can add up quickly when developer channel comes into play with the likes of Ubisoft plus costing $14.99 per month in exchange for access to all the developers games that are available for streaming. And then <laughs> I'm gonna keep reading this. It says I got something to say. In addition to the to these major differences, Amazon choice of using Windows servers for Lunar pose a great advantage, as opposed to Stadia. Porting games over to Stadia requires considerable considerably development resources, while porting to Luna is taught to be as simple as putting the Windows release on a AS AW. AWS instance and then it says here Amazon Luna has a sizable collection of games but a huge portion of their titles are indie games sure there are some middle market titles like a Plague's Tale Innocence Call of the Sea as well as a handful of AAA release such as Control and Metro Exodus but it's but it's pale in comparison to offering by the likes of xCloud or PSNL with the with not a with not a, a lot of popular release at the time of writing, Luna doesn't make much sense as a video game alternative to traditional gaming. <laughs> and then last two paragraphs says in addition to these missteps, Amazon does not have any convincing first party games for the platform. 
like I just said, Amazon Game Studio is currently hard at work on a new world, but there has been no confirmation regarding whether the game would be available on Amazon Luna or not. With not a lot of hype surrounding the service, it's possible that Amazon does not have quite the focus on Luna that it needs to make the service popular. While there might be an argument that Stadia failure could be attributed to reckless expenditures on receipt, uh, procuring high profile release, but Amazon really needs to put in the work. <laughs> like I said, Microsoft did their homework and they put in the work towards making Luna an accessible and appealing platform if it wants to survive and thrive in today's landscape as it stands. There's a very real possibility that Luna, despite its progressive measures, might be the next stadium. And the article is over. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Look, 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 look. You're talking about creating a Netflix-like type service. You have already lost. Microsoft got the ultimate uh, Netflix-like uh, service. Game Pass, like I said, Game Pass covers a lot of things, whether it's the NFL, whether it's the NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, and uh, and, and the NBA. Game Pass, Game Pass is a I, like I try to tell you, Game Pass is a monster, and like in the article, <laughs> it talks about how <laughs> the Luna doesn't have the foundation. Remember. I said in the very beginning of this video, Microsoft got the keys from Sega. And Microsoft did their homework. Remember, Microsoft was making games. They had their flight simulators and all that. But they weren't in the console race yet. But once they partnered up with Sega, and Sega was trying to get out of the console business, and then Sega gave the keys to Microsoft. And then Microsoft came through the door with their own console. And Halo 1, that was the start of Xbox. They, they did it the right way. And Microsoft built an infrastructure from that time till now. And they made some moves. And the moves that they made were big. They got the Minecraft studio. They got, they got all kinds of studios. But they also got their own games. Then they got Rare. Then they got... Uh, they, they got so much things going on. They brought the they did the Zenimax Bethesda deal. They created Game Pass, Xbox Live. They were making moves. They were working on their infrastructure. They worked on the backwards compatibility. Okay? Running games at 60 to 120 frames a second. And then the ultimate icing on the cake was when they brought the entire iOS fan base over to Game Pass. So now people can play phone play uh play video games on their phones. Android way or the iOS way Android iOS game pass so uh, Google right now and uh, Amazon cannot compete with Microsoft they can't compete Phil Spencer said Sony and Microsoft I mean he said Sony and Nintendo is not our competitors so once he said that he sent a message to Sony and Nintendo like look change your ways competition is coming he was talking about Amazon and Google, but Microsoft did their homework, okay? And that infrastructure that they created with Xbox One is nothing to be played with, okay? Amazon, 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 um, Amazon don't have the foundation like Microsoft. Google don't have the foundation like like Microsoft in this video game business. Microsoft did their homework. They were creating games on PC before they even came into the console business. Remember, a Halo was a RTS over at Apple. Okay? It was a RTS, and then they turned that RTS into a first-person shooter. Okay? Halo. And then once they came through the door with the original Xbox and Halo, Microsoft hasn't looked back since. So when, when Microsoft was making their moves, Google and Amazon were sitting there watching. Now all of a sudden they want to come in the console race and they don't have a foundation like how Microsoft has it. So the Luna and Stadia, you can't compete with Game Pass if you're talking about a Netflix like service. Game Pass already got that locked. 
like I told people, like I told people before, there's only two things we do around here: Netflix, Game Pass, Netflix, Game Pass, and Game Pass is like Pac-Man just eating up everything. Every time a game comes out, Game Pass. Why do you think Sony? Why do you think Sony and um Sony and Square, Square Enix delayed Final Fantasy VII remake? It's because of Game Pass. Game Pass ain't no joke. Game Pass is like Pac-Man. Eating up everything in its path. Okay? Microsoft did their homework. Amazon, Google can't compete with Microsoft right now. Like I told people before, the entire gaming industry, the entire world, no, not the gaming industry, the entire world runs on Windows. The entire gaming industry runs through Microsoft. Microsoft did their homework, okay? And like I told you guys before, do not be surprised when the Epic Store and Steam becomes a part of Game Pass. Game Pass is a problem, it's a monster, okay? Sony screwed up, they left it. Sony screwed up with their PlayStation Now because the reason why PlayStation Now is not taking off like it is supposed to, you left your entire catalog of games meaning from the PlayStation 4 all the way back to PlayStation 1 behind. So how do you expect PlayStation Now to grow if you ain't got that entire catalog of games in the store for purchase? That was a dumb move on their part and then Nintendo with their stupid self, they had the Wii U with the um with the uh with the virtual console. The virtual console is like uh it's like Game Pass. The only difference is you don't have a Zenimax Bethesda deal and you ain't got the iOS support. But with the but, but, but with the uh, the uh, virtual console, you had the backwards compatibility thing locked down and you should have continued using it instead of wasting your time and energy creating the stupid switch that can't do nothing. Like I told people before, the answer to the Nintendo fan base problems was the Wii U. And, I, and, I, and, I, and that's a fact and it's truth. So Microsoft is sitting there looking at everybody like, really? Y'all just takes things for granted, huh? So Microsoft start making Microsoft, the heads at Microsoft start making moves. And the moves they make are some are some gut punch, daggers, and some blows to the industry. They they created a streaming ser a, a, a Netflix a Netflix like service and, and call it Game Pass. The title says it all. And then they got the infrastructure under Game Pass. Okay? They got their own games, they got the back, all the games that are backwards compatible on Xbox. You can play it on Game Pass. Then you got the Bethesda deal and Zenimax and then you got Rare, you got this, you got that. You can't compete with Microsoft right now. Amazon and Google, Amazon and Google right now cannot compete with Microsoft, man. Amazon and Google cannot compete. Cannot compete with Microsoft right now. Microsoft did their homework. Game Pass is a monster, and you guys, you guys, people are just gonna have to accept it now because it's eating, it's eating up everything in its path. Every time a big AAA game comes out, Game Pass, how you gonna compete with that? You can't compete, man. So Google, Amazon, and Google right now are walking on thin ice. Okay. They have no foundation. They're, they're, they're on an ice lake right now, walking on thin ice. They can't compete with Microsoft. Microsoft did their homework. Microsoft did their homework. Okay? <laughs> so, they can't compete, man. The title says it all, man. Game Pass. I mean, the ZeniMax Bethesda deal is one thing, man. That was huge. But then when you brought the entire Apple fan base over to Game Pass, that was the ultimate dagger. You ain't competing with that. Sorry. Mm -mm -mm. Can't compete. Forget it. <laughs> you ain't got the foundation like how the Xbox got it. No. As soon as the developers make a game, Game Pass. Gotham Knights, Game Pass. <laughs> Battlefield 6, Game Pass. Jesus. A new Call of Duty, Game Pass. A new Red Dead Redemption, Game Pass. You can't compete, man. Microsoft did their homework, man. 
and they got some games coming, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, see what what keeps what keeps Sony and Nintendo in the in the industry right now. They had they got they got a foundation, but they need to work on their infrastructure. Like I've been telling people, Nintendo need to go back to the Wii U because it was the answer to their problems. They need to go back to it. It ain't the Switch. It never will be. It is the Wii U because of that virtual console they got on it. Okay? It's the answer to their problems. But anyway, Sony on the other hand got to take, they need to bring their entire catalog of games from the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. They need to make the PlayStation 5 fully backwards compatible to compete with Microsoft, man, because Microsoft ain't taking no prisoners, you know? And Nintendo needs to go back to the Wii U because it was the answer to their problems, okay? You can't run from it, you know? If you look at the infrastructure of the Wii U right now, you're like, the only thing it's missing, this is what, more CPU power, more RAM, and some more uh, storage space on the CD. And all they gotta do is take the games from the 8-bit Nintendo, Super Nintendo 64, all the games from the Game Boy, including the DS, and bring it over to uh, to the Virtual Console, and then bring the bring the Neo Geo into the picture. Bring all the Se bring the Sega games into the picture. It's the Wii U, okay? So right now, Microsoft, this Amazon thing with uh, Luna and Google with the Stadia, they can't compete with Microsoft right now. The, game, the Xbox is no X Xbox got the infrastructure. Anyway. I'm going to leave a link in the description box with this article so you can look at it. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Bored, dark side. Come on. Peace.